wa maponde wale toka Mozambique wakaingia Tanzania kama ulivyosema wanapenda kazi ya mikono sana walikuwa wanachukuliwa manamba ya kukata makonge Tanzania alipo wanachukuliwa manamba kukata makonge Kenya kupitia taita taveta hapo ndio palikuwa ki, kituo cha kwanza cha wamakonde kuingia Kenya mnamo mwaka 1936 ilipobadilika uongozi wa rais Moi ikabidi wao waambiwe ni wageni wasifanye kazi kwa hivyo sasa kuanzia hapo ikabidi wa makonde waondolewe kwenye makampuni waanze kuangaika na maisha sisi ni wazaliwa wa hapa lakini shida tulizopata hapa ni nyingi katika enzi za moi na kumbuka nilikuwa bado ni mdogo lakini siwezi jua ni umri gani palikuwa na mkorosho pale mamangu ashawa inibeba na tukapanda juu ya mkorosho kwa sababu ya kukimbia polisi husiku kusomesha mtoto inakuwa shida kufikia kwenye hali ya kupata sakabali za za kwenda mbele huwa ni shida mimi ni mchezaji wa mpira nilipata chance ya kwenda Europe lakini kutokuwa na ID ndio hiyo chance ika ikaniponyoka tulivumilia mwisho tukaona sasa ilipofikia ni tuko kwenye hali ngumu ya maisha tukabidi tuwatafute watu ambao wanaweza kutuelimisha ili tutafute haki yetu we first interacted as a KHRC with the Makonde in 2009 when they were referred to us by our human rights network in Kwale um, who informed us about their suffering and what they have tried to do with them and other organization but it was not bearing fruit tuliandikishwa mara ya kwanza tukapwa karatasi tukamba tutatiwa vitambulisho atukuletewa tukaandikishwa tena mara ya pili hatukupata and it took such a long time that uh, that is when the Makonde community got to KHRC and an intervention took place uamuzi ukaja ya kwamba hatua ya mwisho kabisa ni kufanya maandamano kuelekea Nairobi ili kwenda kukutana na rais baada ya kujaribu mbinu zote za kufata katiba na sheria lakini zile ngazi zinazohusika na mambo ya usajili wa watu walitukatalia tulikusanyika makongeni tukiongozwa na mashirika yote ya kutetea haki za binadamu hapa pwani tukaanza kwa maombi na mara baada ya maombi maandamano yalianza we had many options other than the trek that we could have uh, that we could have uh, gone for to, add, to to attract attention to the Makonde people but uh, we thought a trek was an attractive option because of the difficulties that uh, were clear with regard to the trek tulipotoka makongeni tulipofika ukunda tukaanza kusikia misamaro anakuja aanza kuzungumza tufanye nini si tukasema tuende mtu atakutana na yeye atazungumza tumsikize alafu tuendelee na safari ye, na safari yetu tukaenda paka ngombeni ndio misamaro alikuja akazungumza hizi buses hizi nani amemobilize sio nyinyi msitumiwe vibaya na maenji yose kauli ya kutembea kwenda na Nairobi ni kauli yao ni kauli, ni, ni kauli yetu sisi ni sisi tumewaambia tumtembee kwenda Nairobi ukijaribu kuongea kwa mambo ya media wanasema nyinyi mbona mwaongea kwa media si mtufuate na ukiwafuata wanakwambia mambo yote tulimaliza yako Nairobi sasa nakuuliza bwana afisa tufanyeje maana mambo yote ni Nairobi So the, the many times we were blocked anyway but we managed to reach to Mombasa. The following day we woke up very early in the morning of course with so many challenges as well um, and we started the journey again. This time around we were going from Mombasa to Voi. Tukaingia Voi tulipofika tupata Land Rover pale junction. Tu tunafikiri pengine ni traffic wanafanya nini? Tufikiri ni traffic lakini baada si kuingia ilikuja ikaenda ikapita huko mbele kufika mbele ikaenda ika block ku block sasa gari zingine zinapita kando zinaingia sisi tunaoneshwa kuingia station tunaoneshwa kuingia they wanted us to surrender the keys of uh, our vehicles we had about 10 10 10 buses mini buses but it, one of us picked those keys 
and those li licenses. And because we are wearing, we are, all, all of us are wearing red t-shirts, so nobody would know, would identify who was the driver and who was not, who was a, 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 just a, a tracker. Then they told us to stay in our buses and we were like, no, if you are arrested, you are arrested in a police station. So we, everybody came and sat outside on, on Maram, outside the, the police station and everything in that police station just came to a standstill. Mwisho, tulizungumza nao, na wakubwa walizungumza nao, wakasema basi nendeni, heti tulikuwa tulimenzuia kwa sabu ya usalama wenu, siju nini, nendeni mkalale kesho yake, mkubwa wenu ajapa zungumza. Sidhani kama mkubwa wetu alirudi huko na kesa sisi tuti. Tulilala tutukamuki ya safari, tukaenda safari yetu. Tulipo fika Nairobi na hapo pia changamoto zengine zika tukumba hivyo hivyo. Tuliaza maandamano kwa furaha, lakini tulipo kuwa tunafikia uhuru, uhuru park. Hapo pia tulizungu kwa tena ama tuliona kundi kubwa sana na vyombo vya usalama polisi wakiwa wengi na tulijaribu pale kuzuiliwa lakini sisi kwa umoja wetu hatukuwa waoga sana tulijua vile ni vitisho tukiongozwa na viongozi wetu wakakamavu wa mashirika ya kutetea haki za binadamu walituambia kwamba haina haja ya kuogopa ili ni jambo la kawaida na sisi tumepata njia zote za kisheria we have a message for the president is that a problem now, so, um, then our request is very simple. You escort us, we deliver the message to the president, we'll be peaceful. We've got a, you see, you see, the, the, you see the people we're carrying? They, they, they are elderly. We are aware of that fact. Nothing must go wrong. You want us to agree? Yes. You want us to talk? Yes. We have, we have, we have cleared the road. We, we have cleared the road. We have cleared the road. We are still on the road. You can see, as you can see. As you can see, we are, we are, we are, we are, Mr. Katam, we are talking in good faith. All of a sudden, we saw the cabinet secretary for interior. So a group is already engaging the police on the other side. Then you see the cabinet secretary. Then he came and um, the first instinct for our executive director was to engage him and ask him, why would you send people to beat these people up? And he was like, I'm not here for war. I'm here to receive my people. Umefika Nairobi, amwezi kurudi bila kuona rais. Na nimetuma na rais, nike ni wachukwe, nipeleke nyi istenda. Katika ile misukosu ambayo tumepata kutuka kwane, mpaka kufikia hapa, na kuambiwa tutaweza kuonana na rais, Angalau vile vilio vya ndugu zetu wale tunaishi nao. Ndugu zetu ambao wametuolea madada zetu. Ndugu zetu ambao sisi pia tumeoa kwao na wao pia visikike. It was a complete disconnect. A complete a complete disconnect in terms of 30 minutes ago you are saying that we are not allowed to state house. After a few minutes seconds then we are allowed to state house. But from that moment we went to state house. Those security apparatus that were meant to barricade us that actually transformed to become our, our, our convoy, right? It, <laughs> it became our convoy to, to state house. Tumeelezwa vile mmetembea kutoka Pwani, Mombasa, kwale kufika hapa. Yangu ni kuomba radhi kwa sababu imechukua muda mrefu. Ndio tufike kiwango cha kuwatendea haki kama wa Kenya wenzenu. kafanya tukasahau yani majeraha ndio yapata manjiani mo kwa hivyo tunashukuru na tunafurahi kwa hivi sasa kuwa sisi ni raia wa Kenya hii 
The, the total number of uh, registered citizens were 1,580. At that particular time, the one we gave uh, citizenship, um, 1,580. Out of that, um, 1,250 got IDs, didn't cut, so they're able, they're capable, they are free to vote, they are free now to exercise their democratic right. The role of civil society uh, has been, to me, uh, remarkable. It is a civil society which actually has sensitized the government to realize the plight of these individuals, of these communities, and they are the ones who actually pushed the government to uh, do the vetting, uh, especially uh, the Kenya Human Rights uh, Organization. Uh, uh, they, 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 they've been, they've been the, the forefront in, in ensuring that these people get their rights. The fact that the Makonde got citizenship is actually the beginning uh, rather than the end of their struggle. We have more work to be done around them awareness creation, empower, empowerment, so that now, with time, they can also be part of the mainstream when it comes to governance and the development processes in the country. We have uh, uh, legislation that needs to continually improve. For instance, this year we are working on the Identification and Registration of Persons Bill, which needs to encompass everybody in the country and recognize what kind of documents each person is uh, entitled to as long as they are within the borders of Kenya. Mimi na furai kwa muda huu kwa kupata kitambulisho natembea popote pale najulikana kama mimi raia wa Kenya sasa. Kitambulisho nishapata hiki. Ha. Hiyo furai yenyewe hata siwezi kusema. <laughs> eh, hata kama sina kitu lakini nimepata kitambulisho. Unasikia kupumua. Oh. Unapumua vizuri. <laughs> Mimi ni mkenye. Nafrai kwa kupata idi yangu. Akizangu ni mezipata. Na mimi ni tafaulu kwa sababu mimi ni mshindi. <laughs>